Hey guys, how's it going? Now we all know that Finder is the default explorer inside macOS, which is fine for most users. But if you get into the depths and if you compare it with the competition, you know that Finder does have its own limitation. So a lot of guys have been asking for alternatives for Finder, and well, that's where this video comes in. This is one from Guiding Tech, and in today's video, we'll be talking about five of the best Finder alternatives for macOS that you guys can use right away. Let's get started. First up on this list is Pathfinder, which is the default alternative to Finder for a lot of guys out there. Apart from the dual pane navigation, the drop stack feature is quite handy for selecting multiple files to move or copy them in a single step. For smart file management, Pathfinder also allows you to merge the contents of two folders automatically so that there are no duplicates. It also uses folder sync for comparing such folders before syncing files. It comes loaded with a boatload of file management features such as batch renaming, smart sorting, file tagging, file list filters, advanced low level search, secure delete, keyboard shortcuts and what not. Pathfinder is available as a free trial for 60 days and later on you'll have to pay $36 for it. Next up on this list we have Commander One which comes with all of the major file management features but also comes with support for regular expressions. Now you can use regular expressions or regex to perform an advanced or nuanced search for specific files. This even includes hidden files and folders. Now, Commando One's unique feature is Android and iOS devices support to open and transfer files between those devices and Mac. Another thing that you would like is the built-in process view and controller. Apart from built-in FTP support for connecting to local and remote servers, you can also add support for many cloud storage services. By default, Commando One comes with a 15-day trial period and after that, you'll have to pay $30 to purchase it. Next up, we have Forklift, which is yet another dual pane file manager, but bundled with a ton of features. Forklift is yet another dual pane file manager that supports spotlight search, smart folders for file management, and quick look for media files. All three features allow easy searching, viewing, and managing multiple files. Forklift also offers support for remote connection to FTP, SFTP, AFS, SMB, and other protocols. You can also add your Google Drive, Amazon, Backblaze, and other cloud storage services. While you can try Forklift 3 for free, the Pro license will cost you $29.95. Now, if you just want a file manager for basic features, but a better UI and support for FTP and everything, D Commander should come in very handy for you. Similar to the other apps on this list, this also comes with a dual pane interface to view and manage your files. You can also use the keyboard and shortcuts to navigate and manage your files. Furthermore, you can even open archive files such as zip, jar, or ODT files to browse them like normal folders. D Commander comes with a 30 day trial. After that, you'll have to buy the premium license for $29. Lastly, if you do not want to spend a lot and just want added functionality to your Finder, check out File Pane. You can use the basic drag and drop gesture to move around the files and even save your favorite locations like downloads or documents folders. Also, whenever you select a file, it quickly detects the file types and shows a couple of quick actions. It's more like a utility if you don't want a full blown file manager. That said, it's only available paid for seven bucks which is a decent price for what you get. And well, that was it. As you would expect with most things around Apple, the best things are obviously going to be paid. That said, with the apps that I've talked about, you pretty much get your money worth, depending on your needs, obviously. As always, you can find the download links to all of the software that I talked about down there in the description box. Also, if you found this video helpful, make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content. Till then, this is Vaughn from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.